Let's take a look at Oregon's history of gun laws and mass shootings. Starting with the Thurston High School shooting in Springfield in 1998. A teenager killed his parents and two students and injured 25 others. Two years after that, voters in Oregon passed a measure requiring background checks at gun shows or before a licensed dealer sells a gun. That's the only ballot measure involving guns that Oregonians have ever passed. In 2004, the federal ban on assault weapons, which had started back in 1994, expired. Oregon has never passed its own assault weapons ban. Six other states, including California, have passed bans, as has Washington, D.C. In 2009, Oregon lawmakers passed a bill to comply with federal gun laws for those with severe mental health issues. It requires the state to send the names of people banned from owning guns to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. The next year, in 2010, the Portland City Council passed its own gun control measures, including a ban on carrying loaded guns in public places. That was then challenged in court. In 2012, a gunman opened fire at Clackamas Town Center just outside Portland, killing two people and injuring another. The year after that, the state Supreme Court ruled on Portland's gun ban and ban on loaded guns, that is, in public places and decided that it is indeed constitutional. In 2014, four students were hurt in a shooting outside Rosemary Anderson High School in Portland. In 2015, Oregon lawmakers passed background checks for all private gun sales that expanded on the ballot measure applying to gun shows and dealers that had passed back in 2000. Also in 2015, a gunman shot and killed nine people at Umpqua Community College in Roseburg. Eight others were hurt. In 2016, Governor Kate Brown signed an executive order directing Oregon State Police to maintain a database for gun sales. The next year, state lawmakers passed a red flag law. That's the one that keeps guns away from people who are deemed at risk of harming themselves or others. In 2019, a student entered a classroom in Portland's Park Rose High School with a loaded gun. However, a security guard got the gun away from him and no one was hurt. Investigators said the teen only planned to hurt himself. That same year, state lawmakers passed a bill to close the so-called boyfriend loophole. That takes guns away from people convicted of domestic abuse against an unmarried partner. And last year, the legislature passed the safe storage law. It requires gun owners to keep their firearms locked up when they're not using them. It also lets schools ban people from bringing guns on campus, even if they have a permit to carry them. So what's happening with gun control now? Well, a group is gathering signatures to get two measures on the November ballot. One would ban assault weapons in Oregon and the other would require gun owners to have permits. Today, Mike Benner got an update on their efforts to get tens of thousands of signatures before the July 8th deadline. We do not have to endure this. We do not have to treat this as normal. In Northeast Portland's Augustana Lutheran Church Thursday, a group primarily made up of faith leaders is turning anger into action. We can make a difference. We will make a difference. We are going to change the narrative right now. Rabbi Michael Kahana is focused on changing the narrative around gun violence. He and others with Lift Every Voice Oregon are calling for stricter gun laws in Oregon. We have to take sensible gun actions for public health right now. We cannot wait any longer. Lift Every Voice Oregon is working to get initiative petition 17 on the November ballot. IP 17 calls for permits and thorough background checks for all gun purchases while banning large capacity magazines. Nobody needs 30 round magazines. Our bill limits magazines to 10. That's sufficient. It's been proven to reduce the number of deaths and injuries. Just maybe a law like that would have saved lives in Uvalde, Texas. Although the small town is more than 2,000 miles away from the Rose City, what happened there hits home for each member of Lift Every Voice Oregon. Take Oregon State Treasurer Tobias Reed, for instance. He's a father of two. I have to hold my breath a little bit when I watch them leave for school. And my heart breaks just a little bit every time my wife and I have to describe the latest school shooting. Lift every voice and sing. Enough is enough, according to those who spent the morning at Augustana Lutheran Church. They say the time to act is now. We are fed up. Thoughts and prayers are not enough action is what is needed right now.